I am about to show you a tool that almost no one is talking about. A tool that most creators are hiding from you, yet it is by far the most powerful image and video generation tool on the market today. Have you ever felt frustrated when trying to create a character, only for it to come out different every time you type in a new prompt? That problem ends right here, because I'm about to introduce you to Google Whisk. This is the platform that Google quietly tucked away, almost hidden from view, yet it has the ability to create images with absolute fidelity, and even more impressively, to generate videos with full cinematic consistency. So prepare yourself, because everything is about to change. Welcome to the channel AI Pipeline. I upload videos every single week, each one produced with the quality you would normally expect only from a paid course. Our goal is to keep you one step ahead in the rapidly changing world of artificial intelligence. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also join my Telegram channel and WhatsApp group so you can stay updated with all the biggest AI breakthroughs and news. Now, let's get into the real question. What exactly is Google Whisk? Whisk is not just another image generator. It is a complete creative platform. It combines the power of Google Image 4 with Nano Banana and VEO 3.1, making it essentially Google's ultimate creative interface. And the best part is, it is very easy to access. All you need to do is go to labs.google or simply type Whisk into Google and the platform will open for you. Once inside, you'll see that you have access to multiple tools provided by Google, including Flow, which lets you use VEO 3.1. But for now, let's begin with Whisk directly through this button here. When you first access Google Whisk, this is the interface you'll see. Now, if you are using a free account, there are some limitations. For images, there are no restrictions. You can create as many as you like. For videos, however, you can create up to five using VEO 3.1. On the other hand, if you have a pro account, you can create up to 50 videos. And, as I said, image creation remains completely unlimited. At the top corner of the page, you can see your available credits in your account. You can also access your personal library of images and projects that you've already created here within Whisk. Getting started is simple. One of the best aspects of Google Whisk is how complete the platform truly is. You can create an image directly from a text prompt and the interface even supports prompts in any language. You can also insert a reference image directly into the creation bar to guide the results. On the side, you'll notice an additional panel where you can upload an image you've already created, insert a new text prompt, and make adjustments before even generating anything new. Here you can also specify the environment, describing exactly what type of setting you want the character or subject to appear in. You can refine the style of the image as well, either by describing it through a prompt or by uploading another reference image. In addition to these, there are other features built into the prompt creation bar. For instance, you can click the dice icon and Whisk will generate random prompts for you to use as inspiration. You also have the ability to adjust the aspect ratio of your image. And if you click on the little tool icon, you gain access to even more options, like entering a seed code to lock consistency, enabling or disabling Nano Banana for even higher accuracy, and other refinements. Let me show you how this works in practice. If I click on the dice, Whisk generates a random prompt, and right away I can create images based on its suggestion. Look at this, it already created some images for me, and the results are really impressive. From here, I can also refine them. For example, if I want to change the color of this tiger's eyes to blue, I'll upload or drag the image to the subject box on the left. Then I just type in my instructions, and Whisk modifies the image directly, leaving the rest untouched. The precision is extraordinary. The eye color changes exactly as I requested, without altering any other part of the image. Once the refinement is done, I can return to the creation panel. Another feature is the ability to upload one of your own images into the subject field. Whisk will analyze it and automatically generate a prompt description of what it detects. The analysis is detailed and complete, covering everything it sees in the image. From there, you can make new changes. For example, I can ask it to show the tiger eating ice cream while zooming in closer. 
WISC makes these adjustments immediately, even before creating a new version of the image. Look at this result. The tiger is now eating ice cream, the image has more zoom, and I can continue refining as much as I want right inside this panel. It's important to highlight that all the images created initially are generated through Google Imagen 4. However, whenever you refine or alter them, that's when Nano Banana comes into play to ensure consistency and accuracy. Here's a practical demonstration. I uploaded an image of a woman having a photo shoot on a beach online. Whisk analyzed it instantly. I then clicked on the pencil icon to reveal the full prompt description. After copying that prompt, I asked it to generate a new image. The result was practically a replica of the original picture, and I could now use it for my creative project. But it didn't stop there. I clicked on Refine and asked it to change her clothes color to blue and zoom in on her face a bit. The transformation was flawless, producing a fresh yet accurate version of the scene. One of WISC's most powerful features is this side panel, where you can add multiple elements such as subject, scene, and style. You can even add more categories by clicking the plus button. For example, in the subject field, I placed my model. In another subject slot, I uploaded the bag I wanted her to hold, and for the scene, I added the photo studio image. Altogether, I set it up so that my model would be holding the neon green handbag inside that photo studio scene. And the result? Whisk delivered beautifully. It merged every single reference. The model, the outfit, the Vespa, and the cafe. And the output was perfect, exactly as I envisioned it. From there, I can go further by adjusting the style. I could, for instance, add a prompt to give the entire photo a good retro look, something from the 1970s or 1980s, even down to the color tones and the type of camera lens. When I tested this, the image instantly shifted to a retro look, exactly as I asked. It came out fantastic. So now you've seen how to work with the subject, environment, and style panel. If you are enjoying this so far, don't forget to like this video, follow our page, and join my Telegram and WhatsApp channel. I'll leave the link so you don't miss any of the latest AI updates. You can also use WISC for professional quality photo books. First, I'll upload my female model image into the subject field and lock the seed for consistency. Then I'll let WISC generate. The results are stunning. My character is placed in various scenarios like riding a bike and standing next to a motorcycle, all while maintaining the same facial features and identity. Now for the male version. I uploaded a male model image Describe the style and the scenario I wanted, and let Whisk work. The results are breathtaking. Look closely. The level of detail makes it look like a real photograph. One of the outputs shows the model in the gym. Another shows him sitting in an office, and it is absolutely spectacular. Almost indistinguishable from a real captured photo. And Whisk doesn't just stop at still images. You can animate them into videos. I clicked on the Animate button, added my prompt, and asked the character to speak English, saying, nothing like racing in a sunny day with good vibes. Using VEO 3.1 inside WISC, the platform generated my video instantly. I can download it as an image sequence or as a GIF. The GIF doesn't include audio, but the video does. And here's how it turned out. Nothing like racing in a sunny day with good vibes. One more important detail. When you generate images in WISC, they come out without any watermark. Unlike Gemini or Nano Banana, which add a watermark to the generated images, WISC leaves them clean. The only exception is when you generate a video with VEO 3.1, in which case the watermark of VEO 3.1 will appear. Google WISC is the tool you've been waiting for to take your content to the next level. With character consistency, photorealistic quality, and cinematic video generation in mere seconds, the excuse that AI is not professional is officially over. Now I want to know from you, which feature of WISC impressed you the most? 
leave your answer in the comments. And if this content helped you, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join our WhatsApp group to stay connected with the best AI news and updates.